Hey everybody, welcome to another good e-reader video tutorial. This is Marcus. Today we're going to take a look at the new Allure Tech Libra Air and we're going to show you how to copy ebooks to your device. We're going to show you how to copy both EPUB and PDF ebooks and we're going to show you how to do it via Calibre, Windows Explorer, and Adobe Digital Editions. And along the way, we'll tell you why you want to use those particular programs. But for a summary, you want to use Adobe Digital Editions if you've purchased ebooks from other store that have DRM or Digital Rights Management, and that's the only program that you could use, as well as library books and so on. Calibre allows you a little bit more flexible management of your ebook library on your device. Certainly if you have more than 30 or 40 books, you're going to want to use Calibre in order to manage your ebook reader a little bit more effectively. And good old Windows Explorer, quick copy pasting, but we'll put you through the steps. So this is the brand new Allure Tech Libre Air. If you want to see our full written review on it, you can check out our blog at goodyreader.com slash blog and uh, check out our reviews on the unit via our videos. So our YouTube channel is youtube.com slash user slash goodyreader. So this is the device here. It just came out. You're looking at about $139 or so for it. It reads a ton of different ebook formats including PRC, text, RTF, EPUB, and more. So what we're going to do is we have plugged it in via the USB to mini USB cord that came with it and we've facilitated the data connection as you can see there's a little bit of a, a load there. There's two options when you plug it in for the first time. You can either just charge your e-reader or you can add a data connection. We've just simply established a data connection and we just simply pressed the little center mouse key there. And incidentally, you can scroll this around when you're navigating the internet to click on things. So it's a little bit, almost like an optical mouse. So we're gonna put this down and we're gonna go through the motions on how to copy eBooks to your Libre Air. The first program we want to use is Calibre. Calibre is an open source program. It basically allows you a greater uh, management in your eBooks and I'll call one up here. This is uh, the newest book by Rachel Kane, I believe. It's called Chicks Kick Butt. And you can see here it lists um, the cover art, what format it's in, as well as a bunch of uh, details there. But let's do what Calibre was designed to do and change the metadata. So you can see here that it lists the title name. It also lists the authors, series, title sort, author sort. So on your e-reader, this is how everything would appear. So if you're the type of person that don't like to search by the author's last name, you can re uh, put this in so it's Rachel first so you would look under the R's to find this book. You can also change the cover art if you want. And there's a whole bunch of uh, metadata details here. One of the reasons why Calibre's excellent for this type of program is a lot of people just download books from the internet, Project Gutenberg, various websites, and so on. And in a lot of cases, the title will have hyphens in it. The author's name would be in the title. The author's name, when instead of being the re legitimate author, would be maybe the book uploader's name, or you know there would be misspellings and so on. So this is a way that you can correct all of this type of stuff as well as make your e-reader a little bit more effective in searching for books. Also with Caliber you can convert one ebook format to another. So say you have a Kindle but you download an EPUB book, you can simply convert any EPUB book to the MOBI format, M-O-B-I, and that would be able to be read in your Kindle. And we have video tutorials on how to do this for your Kindle, so again stay tuned to our YouTube channel. So this is another way why Calibre is effective because if you download a book format that your e-reader will not read, you can convert it with this program to a format that it can read. So what we want to do is we want to copy this book, Chicks Kick Butt, to our e-reader. So when we've plugged in our e-reader, it showed up here under the device. Now the Allure Tech Libre Air comes with 100 free ebooks, so these are the ebooks on the device. If you say didn't want those ebooks on your device, you can simply just click on one, say War and Peace, you can right click 
and then click remove books and this would remove the book from your library and so you can do that with just not one book but you can do that with all the books if you want so if you're not a fan of the classics of literature and you just want your own books on there you can totally feel free to do that what we want to do now is we want to add a book to our e-reader so this is our library you can think of this as our editing stage when we click on device or in some cases you may actually see an Allure Tech e-reader here this is where your ebooks would be copied. So what we want to do is click on this little icon here called Add Books. Add Books from a Single Directory. And I have the books here on my desktop just for the little bit uh, to be easier found. So I simply just double clicked on the book. You can see here under Jobs that it is loading the book on our e-reader. And then when that is gone, it would have been successfully copied so sometimes it takes just a few seconds sometimes a minute it depends on your e-reader we've seen some very fast e-readers come along where the books instantly get copied over this sometimes feels like it's a little bit slow but you can see here that there's a check mark chicks kick butt rachel kane today's date june 19th and so this means that it has been successfully copied over to our e-reader so what we want to do is close this now and at the end of the video and tutorial we're going to just verify that all the books got copied over effectively so this is adobe digital editions like caliber it is a free download and this will allow you to copy ebooks that you've either borrowed from the library or have purchased from other stores because the allure tech libra Air, it reads EPUB, PDF formats. These are the two most common formats found in ebook stores on the internet. So you can buy books from Kobo, you can buy books from Borders, Barnes and Noble, Smashwords, Book Baby, and so on. And then once those books are on your computer, you can use Adobe Digital Editions to facilitate the transfer. Now, Adobe Digital Editions and books that you buy from other stores, the protected content or DRM, which stands for Digital Rights Management. The program like we just showed you, Cal Caliber, it won't actually allow you to convert protected uh, ebooks from one format to another. So you want to make sure that if you buy ebooks from other stores, that you're buying them in a format your e-reader can support. So you can see here that it says all items there's no books here we can click on our Libra Air and this shows you more or less the files that are protected that we've copied to our e-reader so what we want to do is click on library add item to library and I want to copy the latest book by Laurel K Hamilton called hit list so you can see the cover art is here and I'm going to left click and I can drag this around. Now you can see that there's a little X here. This means that I can't copy it to specific directories. But once I click on the Libra Air and it's highlighted here, there's a green one, uh, a green symbol there. So I'm simply just going to let go of the mouse. And my computer is lagging a little bit, but you can see that it's copying the file over to our e-reader. And then on the e-reader, you can see that there's a little loading light here. So this is sort of an indication that, you know, it's not your computer's, it might not be lagging, but the e-reader's are doing some work. Okay, so now that we click here on the Libra Air, you can see this is the book that we've copied over via Adobe Digital Edition. So this book is now officially on our e-reader. So again, we've showed you how to use Calibre so far and Adobe Digital Editions. The next step is to use good old Windows Explorer. And this is the default directory structure of the e-reader. It's not really managed effectively. You have your directory here called 100 free ebooks. Adobe Digital Editions created its own directory for the protected content and then when we used Caliber it actually created an author's directory. You can see here that there's mp3 files, there's picture files and so on. So what I probably recommend is because 
Uh, the Allure Tech Libre Air does not have a really good directory structure. I think I'd probably recommend that if you have more than one ebook by a particular author to just uh, create a new directory. So all I'm doing is right clicking, clicking new, clicking a folder, and I could create specific folders for, you know, authors' names. Uh, this is just a personal preference. Uh, you do not have to do this, but I like sort of clean and efficient e-readers. So you can see here that I have another book called Sweet and Deadly by Charlene Harris. I want to copy this to my e-reader. So I can simply left click and drag and drop it inside of here. Or I can right click, click copy, right click again and then click paste and it would do the exact same job. So I have three new ebooks on here and now what we're going to do is we're going to unplug our e-reader from our PC and just verify that those books have been successfully copied over. So I'm going to unplug the device from my computer and you can see here this is sort of like the the internal structure, you can see here ebook library, music, settings, picture, recent reading. I'm going to go to my ebook library and I'm going to press the center button, which is the equivalent of your intro button. Okay, so you see here that here's my digital editions content. And here is the Laurel K. Hamilton book. So I press the center key and here is hit list. So here is your ebook here. Left and right page turn buttons are on this side for some reason but you can also use the D-pad to also turn. Uh, the middle button here, maybe you can't see it, but it is your home button. All right, so there you have it. Those were pretty well all of our eBooks that we loaded on a device. Some of them are in different places than others. But again, you want to create directories and things like that in order to effectively copy your books. But we've successfully saw that, you know, the Laurel K. Hamilton book there is there. The other books are on the device too. So this has been a tutorial on how to load ebooks in your e-reader. For Good E-Reader, my name is Marcus. Everybody take care.